By a substitution we got that integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx is 1 half x square root 1 minus x squared plus arcsine of x divided by 2 plus the constant of integration c. This formula can be derived also alternatively. The alternate solution uses the fundamental theorem of calculus. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that an antiderivative of the function square root of 1 minus x squared can be obtained by the definite integral from 0 to x square root of 1 minus t squared dt. So we conclude that the indefinite integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx is the definite integral from 0 to x square root of 1 minus t squared dt plus a constant of integration c. This definite integral on the right hand side can be computed by interpreting it as an area and then we compute that area. The definite integral from 0 to x of square root of 1 minus t squared dt is the area of the colored domain under the graph of the function square root of 1 minus t squared and over the interval from 0 to x. Here the horizontal axis is the t-axis. x is a number on that t-axis and we look at the domain over the interval from 0 to x and under the graph of the function square root of 1 minus t squared. The graph of that function is the upper half of a circle of radius 1 with center at the origin. It is the blue curve indicated here in this picture. We split this domain into a right angle triangle and to a sector of the disk as indicated here in this picture. The right angle triangle in this picture has horizontal leg of length x. Its vertical leg is of length square root of 1 minus x squared just by the definition. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the area of this right angle triangle in this picture is 1 half x square root of 1 minus x squared. This is the first term in the formula for the integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Next we have to compute the area of the sector indicated here in this picture. To that end we have to compute the angle of the sector and we obtain that, observe that that angle is the same as the acute angle indicated here in this right angle triangle. So the two angles alpha in this picture are the same. Now the right angle triangle has hypotenusa of length 1 because the blue curve is uh, an arc on the circle of radius 1. So we observe that sine of alpha just by looking at this right angle triangle on the picture and the rightmost alpha in the picture. Sine of alpha is x divided by 1. So sine of alpha is simply x and this means that alpha is arc sine of x. And now the area of an angle alpha sector of a disk of radius 1 is just alpha over 2. It can be computed by the formula which is the angle of the sector, in this case it is alpha, divided by the full angle which is 2 pi, times the area of the disk which is pi times radius squared. Now radius is 1, so we get the angle alpha divided by 2 pi times pi, which simplifies to alpha over 2. And alpha is arc sine of x, so we get that the area of this sector indicated in this picture, the colored pink sector of the disk, is arc sine of x divided by 2, and this is the second term in the formula for the integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx. The conclusion of this geometric argument is that Integral from 0 to x square root of 1 minus t squared dt, which is the area of the pink domain in the picture, 
is uh, the area of the triangle plus the area of the sector, and that is 1 half x square root 1 minus x squared plus arc sine of x divided by 2. Here we have assumed that x is positive, but the same result holds, and the same argument also holds if x is negative. By the fundamental theorem of calculus, we had observed that integral of square root of 1 minus x squared dx is the definite integral from 0 to x, square root of 1 minus t squared dt plus constant of integration. And uh, we computed the definite integral from 0 to x, square root 1 minus t squared dt, by computing the area of the pink domain, and we got that this is 1 half x square root 1 minus x squared plus arc sine of x divided by 2 plus then constant of integration c. So the result is of course the same as the one obtained by the substitution x equals sine of u.